Greetings. This is Rom Wills, and um, well, I don't have my jazz on, or I don't have, uh, you know, my usual. This is a, another video. Greeting. This video is called Repercussions. And as you can see, it has something to do with uh, that young lady that was on the Steve Wilco show who had those two boys and, you know, the parents and everything. Um, you know, the mothers wanted, the, you know, the son to still be a father to these kids, even though they weren't his kid. Right. And the link is in the, the description box, uh, not to that original video, but to... Uh, well, original show, but a follow-up clip where that same young lady brought another man on to test him, a young man on to test him for, you know, to see if he was the father. And it was interesting when I saw the clip because I didn't see it actually on YouTube, but I actually saw it in one of the groups I'm in on Facebook, one of the private groups I'm in, all right? And I, I checked it out, and it was interesting. I watched it. You know, after maybe 20 minutes after uploading my uh, video from yesterday, the black woman's real enemy. Uh, and, you know, I talked about the media and its influence and how black women need to be really rising up against the media. Now, of course, we see this and it was more than just it reinforced my point but it was something else it was something else because I saw it this morning and then you know I had to go out I got, I got to do my thing you know my brother got to work you know so I came home and I saw you know I watched the video again and I caught something the second time I had an idea what I was going to do I was definitely going to do a response video to that but then I, I caught something again and I was like damn and I don't know how many uh, people might have caught it. Some old school brothers might have caught it. Some old school street wise cats might have caught it. Some sisters too. Some old wise sisters might have caught the look too, right? But what it was, was not so much the young lady's uh, seeming indifference to hurting these two young men. That's, that's a whole other video. And, um, uh, you know, um, well, I see something there, and I talked about it in one video. It's, it's a deep spiritual matter with her. I'm not going to get into it. Even though, like I said, I mentioned it in a, another video where that was called uh, Devil in a Red Dress. And I'm, the signs are there. Anyway, right? I caught the look on that young man's face when he found out he wasn't the father of the oldest child. When he thought he had been. This is a situation that has to be looked at. You see, you have a lot of sisters, black women, who wonder why some man that they gave themselves to, dogs, they wonder why that, you know, good looking guy, you know, that they skipped over all the quality guys for all the classic men, for all the. All the guys that, you know, were too corny for him, they skip over it for this type of guy. And then they wonder why that man dogs him. Because like, you can look at that young man. I saw the look. It's a certain look, and I've seen it in a certain type of man. And that certain type of man is a dog. That type of man who will dog out a woman. Who, in fact, will make it his mission to dog out a woman. Who will hurt every woman they come across. There's a repercussion for that behavior. See a lot of women don't want to speak out on that issue. They don't want to speak out on the issue of paternity fraud. Or how some women out there are hurting these same men that y'all trying. That the women are trying to relate to. You know the women are just like oh you must need a hug. Oh you get over it. Fuck that shit. There's some real stuff. And women need to be checking that because that same, there's probably some good women, some good young women who will encounter that man, that young boy in the future. And he is not going to treat them kindly. 
He's going to have that hurt on his mind. That shit is going to be imprinted on his mind. See, one thing I'm an expert on, I'm an expert on dogs. They even players, but dogs. Men who are just straight up evil with women. And he ain't, I ain't talking about some good dogs either, but just some evil ass men. And I've seen it. And there's always a look. It's a look where a man will snap. I don't care. You If you take... Like, if you take a guy that women would call lame or corny or something like that, and they get that look, another dog is born. There's a repercussion for that. And that woman was just like, whatever about that guy, but no. Many men have encountered that. Many men have encountered that situation where a woman is cold and callous to them. And see... That's why a lot of that's if if y'all want to know why some of the men are like that. Many men have encountered that. Now some men, all they can do is maybe just complain. You know, some men just you know they disappear. They vote with their feet. They go ghost. And you know some women, you know they see that they're like, well we don't care anyway. They weren't cute. They were lame. They were corny. But what about that man who isn't lame or corny? What about that man who got what women want, will attract them, and will dog the fuck out of them? I felt for that young man then. I felt for him because I saw, I saw that look. And that look, the course of that young man's life has changed. In all honesty, uh, I would hope, since he was on a Steve Wilco show, they had some counselors right there ready to talk to him. Like, seriously. You gotta catch him early, cause if it's not addressed, he will he will get older and he will realize whatever power he has over women and he will use it. And then, women, and many women have encountered that dog. You know that guy who looks good, even left their husbands or boyfriends for that type of dog. But that's where it's created. When I've talked with men, womanizers players, good bar type, whatever you want to say. There was always that one woman that hurt them, that broke their damn heart. And they, these men will take it out on every single woman they find. Sometimes the, sometimes the woman who did it might have been the man's mother. And it will make it their mission to like just utterly destroy a woman you just fuck her head up and y'all say why Rum's passionate about this well you think about it I'll leave it at that but you know when I see this and see this this is the problem how many women are taking that young girls like that to the side and say hey, look this this could be a problem or getting them beforehand how many are doing that? How many are going out there actually mentoring? A lot of women talking about men mentoring, but hey, many men do that. Many men do it informally. You know, maybe not the way they used to, but some are still out there doing it. You know, personally, I've grabbed up many a thug and, and set them straight. But who's who's thinking about what some of these young girls are doing? Who's getting them up? If y'all want to know why you got like thousands of videos on YouTube going in on black women specifically, watch that. Click on the link I got in my description box. Any women watching this, click on that link and understand many men have gone through it. Like I said earlier, some men, some men, they can't really do much about it. They can complain. They can leave women alone. They can withdraw from the game. But the worst one. Worst one is that little, like, handsome dude or that dude y'all think is fine. And then y'all got, and then y'all find out he got a cold heart. And see, and I've said it several times. I coach as many women as I do men. And I got some women telling me some straight up horror stories about how that dude they thought was all fine dogged the fuck out of them. Like, just totally fucked their heads up. And there's some women out there now still going through therapy after what somebody did to them when they were young. Just didn't give a fuck. Like in that uh, video I did, Devil in a Red Dress. Oh, yeah. I talked about demon lovers. 
Oh, there's a male version of a demon lover. And shoot. Sometimes it don't take much to trigger it. It don't take much. But one of the main things is that hurt. Now in that situation, you know, when that young man watches that video again, he, shoot, he's going to say, damn, she, she was just cold like that. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, no, I mean, that young woman a damn sociopath, really. And see, women, yay. The women listening, y'all got to remember, y'all so busy, like, pointing the fingers at us. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. Don't have a person like that around your husband. And y'all know it. Too often a sisterhood want to, like, close ranks regardless of what that one woman is doing. Nah. <laughs> nah, y'all don't want to go there. Y'all better, yay, that's the person you better watch. Because that, that person will suck your husband's dick and don't give a fuck. And then make sure it's taped and then make sure you find out. Because I'm going to tell y'all something now. People who praise me for sharing the game, there's a lot of fucked up aspects I don't share. You know, Alan Roger Curry listens to me. He knows I'm not. He knows I'm not saying some things. The master teacher BGS it listens to me. He knows I'm not saying some things. There's some shit phew, I try not to think about it. I have people try to ask me anytime I say that. People try to say, "Well, Rum, you need shit." It's like, no, I don't. No, I don't. Now, there's some shit I shared. Yeah, some dudes be ready to put a bullet in their head. And this shit's fucked up. But that's one thing. As soon as I saw that look, think about something. I was going to, like, just respond in general about that thing. I was going to go in a different direction. Had my jazz playing. Had that little happy voice. But when I saw that look, I was like, shit. Shit. And, yeah, I don't know. See, when I mention that term demon lover, I kind of avoid talking about it. Only in my, um... I share that shit with my private group, and even then, I had some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the vampire legends are probably based on uh, some demon lovers in history. Those are worst type of sexual politicians, and like I said, that rejection in a man creates does a lot to create one. So there's a repercussion. There's a repercussion now. If people don't want that stuff to happen, we need to start checking shit. You know? A lot of women, especially. See, men, everybody's always talking about what men need to do. And men, do, hey, I say it. Men need to reach back and hem up some of these boys. You know? And as my mentor would say, they need to hem them up in such a way the cameras can't be rolling. Because, you know, it might have to be some hurt, well, some physical pain inflicted or something. But it's necessary. But many older women need to check some of these young girls out here. They need to check them. As soon as they see it, they need to check them. And I'm, you know, I haven't seen it enough. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I haven't seen it enough. Because someone might yeah, realize that man who experienced that hurt, that cold blood bloodiness from uh, some young lady, oh, trust me, somebody else is going to catch it. There's always going to be a repercussion. So I just want people to listen to what I'm saying, think about it. I don't really care if you thumb up or thumb down it. I just had to get it out, okay? There's a repercussion for it. It's part of the reason why I do some things. And trust me, I know about, well, let's just say I know about that uh, look. So, yeah, just think about what I said, all right? As I like to say sometimes, think on this.